an old anti-malarial drug is showing promise as a potential treatment for COVID-19. Although health officials are urging caution until clinical trials are done, the drug hydroxychloroquine was reported March 9 in Clinical Infectious Disease Journal to be effective at killing the virus in laboratory experiments. The first patient trial of hydroxychloroquine for COVID conducted in France has reported encouraging results. According to a draft article, 36 patients were enrolled in the trial, out of which 20 patients were given 600 mg of hydroxychloroquine. At day 3, the study reported 50% of the treated group turned from positive to negative for coronavirus. By day 6, 70% tested negative. On March 23, the National Task Force for COVID-19 constituted by Indian Council of Medical Research recommends the use of hydroxychloroquine for prophylaxis of SARS-CoV-2 infection for high-risk population. High-risk population includes asymptomatic healthcare worker involved in the care of suspected or confirmed cases of COVID-19 and asymptomatic household contacts of laboratory confirmed case means family member of a corona positive case now coming to the dose of hydroxychloroquine for asymptomatic healthcare workers it is 400 mg twice on day 1 followed by 400 mg once weekly for next 7 weeks and for asymptomatic family members of a corona positive case it is 400 mg twice on day 1 and 400 mg once weekly for next 3 weeks why hydroxychloroquine acting against COVID-19? According to research, lysosomal proteases are important in activating coronavirus surface spike proteins for membrane fusion. Hydroxychloroquine is an weak base that increases the pH of the endolysosomes and prevents activity of the enzymes. What are the contraindications of hydroxychloroquine? It is advised not to give to any children below the age of 15. Drugs are not recommended for persons with retinopathy, hypersensitive to hydroxychloroquine and 4-aminoquinoline compounds. It should not be taken without prescription of a registered medical practitioner. The placing of healthcare workers under chemo prophylaxis should not instill a sense of false security. They should follow all prescribed public health measures such as frequent washing of hands, keeping a distance of minimum 1 meter and use of personal protective equipment. The high-risk contacts of a positive case placed under chemoprophylaxis should remain in home quarantine while on prophylactic therapy. Apart from the symptoms of COVID-19, if the person on chemoprophylaxis develops any other symptoms 
he should immediately seek medical treatment of the medical practitioner who has prescribed the chemoprophylaxis.